Hey guys, Demon Dev here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own custom mob using Bridge and Block Bench. This mob has a boss bar, has health, is able to swim and float. Well, oh, he, he, he's going to come back up. He's able to float. Uh, the floating part's a bit broken. But he also has a custom loot table. Or if you kill him. He drops end city loot. And last but not least. You're able to trade with him. So if you go on to like today's video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And the like button. It will really help us out. And... Thank you guys for all the support recently. We really appreciate it. We just hit 3,000 subscribers, and it means a lot to both me and Sign Vector. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to want to have to do here is we're going to want to export our model from Blockbench and the texture. So in order to do that, we're going to go to File, and we're going to do Export, Xbox, Export Bedrock Geometry. I already have mine saved. Make sure to save it in a easy place for you to get to so you can uh, import them into um, bridge later on so save that right click on the texture you have here save as and save that in a easy place to access to we're gonna go to bridge and when we're in bridge we're gonna create a new project alright so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new file I'm going to create a new. All right, bridge is bugging out on me, so we're going to reopen it. We're going to create a new file. Entity, blank entity. And this is where we're going to get our texture from earlier, which is why you should have it in an easy place to locate to make your life a lot easier. So we're going to add that. The model, same thing. Add that. Spawn egg, I'm going to leave blank. Identifier, 001. Display name, 001. Create. All right, now we got our basic entity file. So if we come over into Minecraft, custom, oh, custom mob tutorial. Creative experiments. As I said, I don't think we need them because it's a non experimental uh, mob. So let's do that to create. Uh, let's type in zero zero one. Yep, there he is. All right, so we got our first mob, and as you can tell, he just kind of floats there. He doesn't have any uh, behaviors yet, and if you hit him, up, up, and away he goes. Never to be seen again. So let's, let's get to work here. We're going to want to go back to bridge, and the first thing we're going to want to do is let's take a look at the description. You got the tutorial. Spawnable means he has a spawn egg. Summonable means he, you can summon him by commands. Experimental means you don't need the experimental gameplay to turn him on because it's set to false. So we're going to want to go to components here. This is going to be a very basic tutorial. So we're going to want to add Minecraft. Beha Minecraft. Behavior. Dot random underscore stroll. And we're going to make the priority. We're going to set that to priority number zero. And we're going to set his speed multiplier to 0.5. Save. We're going to want to add Minecraft navigation dot walk 
This is just all the stuff that's going to make him be able to move around on his own. Uh, when you add the navigation.walk, you got a bunch of different options you can choose from here. Like you can make them avoid portals, avoid the sun, avoid water, avoid damage blocks, open doors, break doors, pass doors, open iron doors, uh, path over water, path over lava. So for us, we're going to make it so he can swim. So we're going to set that to true. And then can sink, can underscore sink. We're going to set that to uh, false. And we're going to save that. The next component we're going to want to add is movement dot basic. And the next component we're going to want to add after that is jump dot static, which is going to make it so he's able to jump. You can adjust the jump power so they jump higher. Movement. And then we're going to want to give it some physics so it doesn't float away. Oop, I turn on caps lock. Oh, I got to click components, physics. And we're going to want to do has collision. We're going to set that to true and has gravity. We're going to set that to true as well. Now that we added all this stuff, we can uh, go ahead and go back into Minecraft, save and quit. And we're going to reload the world here. If we set him here, he now can get hit and he should move on his own too. Um, let's go back to bridge, uh, movement value. One. Save that. All right, buddy. Don't be shy. Go ahead. You can move. I believe in you. Uh, maybe I need to spawn a new one in. There we go. Uh, the moving is a little bit uh, weird because I didn't give it any animations yet. Which that, uh, that won't be in this tutorial, but in a future tutorial. But as you can see, they, they move around and they now have gravity. And on top of that, they can, if we come over here. You set them right here. They are, so they aren't supposed to sink. So I don't know why they are. Oh, there we go. So oh, maybe it's because I put it like they can swim and sink and maybe it's just like two opposing effects But look at them. He's moving around freely. He's a he's a happy little guy. So the next thing we're gonna want to do is uh, I know it's a big one is that I see people ask about a lot is boss like how to make it into a boss so we're going to want to give this guy some health first. So Minecraft health, we're going to set it to value. Let's set his value to, let's make him have 100 health. And then the next thing we're going to want to add is Minecraft boss. And this is going to create a boss bar for the guy. Uh, should he darken the sky? Sure. Let's make him darken the sky. Name, we're going to make it say 001. And let's save that. Now when we reload, this guy's going to have a custom boss bar. And he should have 100 health. Oh, I got to spawn a new one in. Hold on, let me kill all of them. There we go. That, that works. 
Oh, he didn't darken the sky. That's weird, but you can see the boss bar. He didn't darken the sky for some reason. And if we get a sword... And we fight this guy. You can see his health goes down. And there you are. He doesn't have any loot drops yet, which uh, I can show you guys how to make him have loot drops. Let's say we want this guy to drop. All right, so let's go back to bridge. We're going to make this guy have loot drops. So components. Loot. Table. We're going to give him... Let's make this fun, shall we? Let's do... Let's make it so he drops end city loot when, uh, when he gets killed. That would be a nice little reward for killing him. Let's spawn a new one in. There you go, he dropped end city loot. So that's how you add um that's how you add a loot table to him. And you can make custom loot tables as well. So let's let me just kill all of them. And <laughs> look at all the the end city loot now. Got a bunch of stuff here. So that that's pretty cool. Like if you ever wanted to make Minecraft but mobs are OP or drop OP loot, you could do something like that. You could create your own loot table. Um so the next thing I want to show you guys is another one that I find very useful is a trade table. So let's make it so this guy can trade. We're gonna want to come here, we're gonna do components, Minecraft. Behavior, oh, if I can spell it right, behavior dot trade. And we're gonna do the trade with player. Let's do. Let's set this to his priority number one. And then the next component is we're gonna do Minecraft trade table. And we're gonna do. We're gonna set the trade table. Let's make him. Weaponsmith. Let's do display name. We're going to make it 001. And the new screen, we're going to do. So you can either set it to the new screen or the old screen. I'm going to show you the old screen first, which, if you do that, it's going to look like this. Let's save and quit. Load back in. So if we place this guy down here and you right click on him. This is the old, old trade table. And then the new one, the new table looks like this. So yeah, so we accomplished a lot. He has health. He's able to walk around. That was like almost on command. Like <laughs> he did exactly what I wanted. He's able to swim slash uh, float. Uh, he drops end city loot. And he has a boss bar. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. And I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions. Please make sure to join the discord. Server with the link down below. And I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And I will see you guys in the next video.